हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज चंद्रमणि पांडे एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग माय अदर वीडियोस आई एम होपिंग दैट माय वीडियोस आर एडिंग सम वैल्यूज इन योर डे टू डे इंट्यून ऑपरेशन वर्क प्लीज कंसीडर सब्सक्राइबिंग माय चैनल बाय सब्सक्राइबिंग यू विल गेट एक्सेस टू न्यू वीडियोज एज सुन एज दे आर अपलोडेड एंड इट्स अ ग्रेट वे टू स्टे अप टू डेट विद माई कंटेंट एंड सपोर्ट मी एट द सेम टाइम Now before checking the service health and message center email configuration let's see some of the key points related to service health and message center so service health is used to view details for active incidents as well as the advisory in the microsoft endpoint manager admin center and only incidents that are affected to your tenants are showing in this service health status page so this information is also available in on the service health page of microsoft 365 admin center portal and to check the status of service health we have to go to the tenant administration and under tenant administration we have to go to the tenant status and within tenant status we have to go to the service health and math center and within that we can see the service health status of your environment if there is any active incidents or advisory available for your tenant it will show under service health status now the next information available under service health and math center is related to issue in your environment that required action so this is used to know the issue in your environment that required action as well as this section displays message that are sent to alert tenant administrator about issue that might required action to resolve now the next information available under service health and math center is related to intune math center so intune math center is used to view informational communication from the intune service team without having to navigate to the office math center communication includes messages about change that have recently happened to the intune services or that are on the way for your tenant by default the 10 most recent and active messages display to view older message we must use select see past message to open the message center in the microsoft 365 admin center portal Now let's see how we can monitor the Intune service health as well as the Mathy Center status via email subscription. So to do this, we have to go to the Tenant Administration, and under Tenant Administration, we have a Tenant status, and within Tenant status, we have a Service Health and Mathy Center. We have to click on this. Here we can see that we have a Service Health status. issue in your environment that required action as well as the message center status so to configure the email subscription we have to click on see past incidents or advisory and this is going to open the microsoft 365 admin center portal we can see that microsoft 365 admin center portal is now open then we have to click on customize and now we can see that under customize option it's showing all the health status of the microsoft service and within that we are able to see that it is also showing the status of uh, microsoft intune so if you are only interested to get a email notification of microsoft intune then you have to unselect all the other services and then in bottom you have to save it and to get a email notification we have to click on email and within that we have to provide the email address important point is that we can only add up to two email address separated by semicolon and additionally we can include the type of issues like here we are getting the incidents advisory as well as the issue in your environment that required action so i am okay with all the types of issues additionally if you want to include or remove any other services from monitoring you can do from here as well. like i don't want to get an email notification related to dynamic 365 i am going to remove it for an example in bottom we have to save this and now that's done whenever there is any 
सर्विस हेल्थ रिलेटेड टू ऑल द सर्विसेज वी कन्फिगर्ड हेयर वील गेट अ मेल नोटिफिकेशन ऑन द प्रोवाइडेड ईमेल एड्रेस वी कैन ऑल्सो कन्फिगर्ड द ई मेल नोटिफिकेशन फॉर मैसेज सेंटर एंड टू डू दिस वी हैव टू गो टू द मैसेज सेंटर अंडर हेल्थ एंड विद इन दैट वी हैव टू क्लिक ऑन प्रिफरेंसेज एंड हेयर यू कैन सेलेक्ट ऑल द सर्विसेज फॉर विच यू वॉन्ट टू गेट द ई मेल नोटिफिकेशन like in my case i am only interested in tune so i can remove the other services and just keep in tune as selected and then we have to go to the bottom and save it and under email we can see that the primary email address is already configured and if you want to add other email address you can click here and you can provide the one or two email address and in this place we can only add up to two email address and additionally we can configure which type of email you want to get like send me an email for major updates or send me email for data privacy message or or we can select send me a weekly digest about service i select so i am going to select it additionally we have to configure for which service we want this weekly digest so i am okay with uh, all the service but, but as per your choice you can select or remove any specific service and then bottom you have to save it now whenever there is a new incidents or advisory available under service health or match center we will get a email notification now let's quickly check what all we will get in mail whenever there is a new advisory or any incidents reported so let me open my test email box so we can see that we are getting a mail notification from 365 service alert so because currently i have no incidents or advisory available in my tenant that is why i am showing a very old advisory mail so that you know how the mail looks like and uh, what all information we will get in this mail notification so in the top we will get a mail notification about the service which is impacted after that we will get a advisory information like here in title we are able to see that we are getting a users utilizing autopilot with enrollment status page may intermittent time out when provisioning a device and this is the id and this is a service restore status and this is a service restore status for microsoft intune and in bottom we will get a detailed information and in bottom also we we can see that when this was started and when this was ended and also we will get a root cause why this kind of issues is happening and what all step microsoft is going to take uh, to avoid such kinds of issues in future so that's all i want to show you in this video if this video is helpful in your day to day operation please like share and subscribe my channel i hope this is an informative video for you thank you very much for watching this video